Hey everyone, this is Manly Bastard, and welcome back to your turn to die. Previously, we completed another game, but we lost some of our old friends. Anyone here? I'll go to the medical office. Everyone should be waiting there. Miss Taffelin. So and Connor whispering in the corner. Not the kind of thing I can barge into. Let's just barge in! Guitar is chanting happily with Gin and KG. It's hard to imagine the main game is approaching. Big is Sarah! Gin, you're up and moving already. Yeah, I'm telling Bear Wolf. Poison won't scare me anymore, meow. Guess the Android KG brought work like a charm. Don't see no weird after effects neither. Good showing from your friendly policeman, eh? It really was a close call. If KJ hadn't found the antidote, Gein might have... KJ. Good job knowing where it was. Well, we've been here three whole days. All that searching around was worth it. Right. Stupid. Why do I have to see something that sounds so suspecting? Don't look so scared, Sarah. We've lost a lot of allies on the way here. Alice. He may have looked like trouble at first, but I don't think he was a bad guy. But see, Sarah. You've got the lives you saved right here. Isn't that right? <laughs> Our salvation. Gin smiles, helping to save us all. We lost him too. I'm sure we'd... Then watch him get killed in the main game. Gin... Thank goodness you've gone all better. Fix us now. Punish Reiko. A sister denied her brother. Fix uh, us, Reiko? I'm glad, Gin. Reiko gently stroked Gin's head. Y yeah. Fix us, Reiko, I. Ha. <laughs> what are you crying for? You're a big kid. Sorry, Meow. I couldn't do anything, so Alice. Ain't nothing for you to apologize about, Kin. But... They scared, scared you, huh, Gin? So I really couldn't be there when you were in a pinch. Ow! Fix this, Reiko! So all of you have assembled. I will now begin explanations for the second main game. Why is everyone, like, putting stuff in their pockets? Was Joel, like, a bastard son of you or something? Mr. Gin Ibushi, how are you faring? <laughs> Here he is, Meow! Uncle Crabstash! Does look kinda like a crab. Uncle Crabstash. <laughs> you think we're just gonna sit here and listen to your damn explanation? <laughs> you guys are always pulling tricks, I won't trust you, Wolf! Hmm. <laughs> what the heck, Wolf? Don't come in closer, Meow! Fantastic. <laughs> yeah? Just amazing, Mr. Ginibushi. Astonishing resilience. Why, you're the picture of health already. An Uncle Crab Stash. It's an honor to receive such a charming nickname. You screwed up us now. Fantastic. Simply fantastic. I, I feel sick, meow. Oh dear. So there's yet some venom left. It's not that, Wolf. Um... When are you getting to the explanation? Pardon me. Well then, I shall explain this main game. Are, are, are we realistic androids? Who's kind of really into that? That said, the basic rules are the same. It is a voting game making use of all cards. The key master, the sage, the sacrifice, and the commoner. The key master is the key man of destruction. Should they be chosen, the one who carries it bears great responsibility, but it also serves as armor. The sage is a superhuman who knows the one in possession of the key master role, but once exposed, it's hard to protect oneself. The sacrifice will die unless chosen. They are the sole person who can turn defeat into victory, or victory into defeat. And the commoners have no power at all, but first they fill the role of guiding the discussion in proper direction. 
However, this time, we will use data in place of paper cards. The data? Card data has already been distributed at random to the voting tablets you possess. All that remains is the permission to access it. <laughs> but you have to make it so roundabout. Very sharp indeed, Mr. Kutaro. Because this time, you are able to make trades. And forcibly at that. Ooh! We can trade our cards. Indeed. Now then, let me show you. Come forth, ring up box. That's a neat trick. Trick. A phone keeper came from the floor. You may trade cards by making a request at one of these ring up boxes situation in each room. They are simple to use. Simply insert 50 tokens and grab the receiver. 50 tokens! Of course, just like the sub game, you cannot use your own tokens. What a ridiculous rule. Should I have not spent those tokens earlier? Oh, I had thought you would be delighted, Mr. Kutaro. That's an awful rule. People without tokens don't get the right to trade. Trades are one on one with from who you select. Please trade freely with whoever you wish. You have a time limit of approximately three hours. When all have returned to their bedrooms, that will signal the start of this trading phase. Do not wear such gloomy looks, everyone. Win and survive, for you are all born to win. Hmm? What is he talking about? So then, please return to your rooms within five minutes. See, I told you, it's a little weird, because everyone's like adopted or something. If you do not, you understand, don't you? The atmosphere is unpleasant. We look at each other's faces and try to judge how we're feeling. Maybe we're clones. Like, we're, we're actual blood clones, and we're the superior models to the, uh, the androids. We're like the, the new gen, uh, kind of thing. We'll definitely escape. We'll escape for sure. Zero! It's not like we're out of time. There must be something we can do. That might sound flimsy, but I'm not giving up. You said it, Sarah. I mean, it ain't like everything's going honky door for them, neither. The guy with the stash shooting ranger must be unexpected, too, right? Huh? What? I said something weird. No, you're exactly right. Unexpected. If we look for things our enemy didn't expect, there should be a way out of this. Then I'll head back first. Don't want to get killed for being tardy. Let's get going, guys. So I had a funny thought. It was like about my dialogue from earlier. Where So has like nightmares of Sarah like stabbing him. So like from So's perspective, I feel like there's some bizarro world. Where there's like a never let's player who's playing as So instead. And he's like, don't trust that off, that off orange brown hair. Don't trust him. Sarah's gonna betray everyone. Why does no one believe me? Throw out the window. No, because it's bizarro. I'd be like, like throw her out the door. So from So's perspective, we're, we're the green hair that needs to go out the window. So, it's, it's a little inverse, see? So he acts evil, but he's trying to do it for some good, stupid reason that he thinks we're evil and manipulative. Maybe we are. Maybe we're a clone and the real Sarah is some kind of crazy person. Or maybe So is a crazy one, who knows? Still early the call? That's, that's the fun. Got fun that lore. Everyone's heading off to their bedrooms. Glancing at each other's faces and seeing looks of anxiety mixed with trust. Big to Sarah. Huh? What is it, Gein? I hid because the suspicious loner was there. But I might find a way out, Wolf. Huh? I don't want to trouble you guys anymore, Meow, so I'll do my best, Wolf. Ah, Gein. I feel so uneasy. Is everything going to be okay? Wheel. The ring up box has appeared in the back of my room. It's quiet. You're my room, I'm all alone. Huh? My hands are shaking. This... Back there I tried to cheer everyone up so they wouldn't be uneasy. I told myself I couldn't give in around them. But when I'm alone, I'm so cowardly. No, no, I can't get timid. What the? Suddenly a tablet began making a sound. What can the sound mean? 
It's begun. It has begun. Dun 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 dun. The trading phase of the main game will now begin. Now accessing your roll card. Will you give me Keymaster again? What should be sacrifice? My roll. A faithful moment. My heartbeat's loud and out of control. Subconsciously, I was praying. Don't do it. Anything but the one that killed Joe. Oh, okay. Commoner. I see. <sighs> Before I knew it, I dropped to the floor. But who got sacrifice? Believe. I'd say Qtaro. KG. Um. Or even Gin again. I could see any of those three going. Now, maybe? But I feel like she has kind of like a, a quest to like avenge Mishima. And then Reiko. Reiko or, or Alice, if this was an Alice route. I think would, um, they wouldn't knock both of them out, I think, in the same chapter. But you never know. Think up. Hey, Sarah. Is it KG? Is that now? You okay? You on guard? Your friendly policeman just wants to come in and chat. How about it? Did you get sacrificed? It's KG. Jump in the door and find him in. Ask him for a password. <laughs> if your cage, you should know the password. Tell it to me. Now that's a toughie. Guess this case is going unsolved. I can only imagine KG giving such an unmotivated reply. Okie dokie. I'll just get straight to business. Business. Sarah, you're... The sacrifice, right? No? Oh? What? Ho ho ho, that's one obvious reaction, Sarah. Shoot, I made a weird sound. Ah, thank goodness. If you really were the sacrifice, I've been pretty worried. I haven't confirmed anything yet. You make it obvious, but you won't confess. Sure enough, you're clever. But you're still a bad liar, huh? You. Well, I'm the key master. Not gonna trust me on my word, though, are ya? Just hold on a sec, Sarah. He's gonna outright show it to me. I hear footsteps trailing away from the door. What's he going to do? Huh? The tablet again. Huh? My rule changed! The first trade has just been performed. A trade? Well, I traded you my key master. Woo! Practical gun reflex that opened my door. Thanks. So, Sarah, you were a commoner. What were you thinking? Uh. I dragged him to the room and closed the door. Maybe higher tier cards can be forced to be traded out? It's a valuable chance for a trade. Why'd you go and waste it on this? Huh. You're mad at me. I'm not mad. Just. I want you to trust me. We've only got three hours. No doubt the way suspecting each other over rules. Cause we're gonna make our escape. I understand. You must have an idea. Tell it to me. Right. Ooh. Things are spicing up. I'm feeling the spice. And everything nice. Hey, Sarah. What sorts of methods could we escape by, you think? Depends how deep we are in the ground, if we are. Destroy the death game? We have the callers, though. Secretly look for an exit? We could search for an exit while the kidnappers find us out. That's true. Maybe we could avoid the watch line of the floor masters. Sure enough, the thing we need is information. Where is this place? What sort of building is it? If we sent a floor map, at least, we'd have half a chance. A floor map. Who among us would know something like that? Huh. We just have someone. Mishima's gone. Kai. KG or so. Maybe Kai, if Kai was here. 
or so. So seems kind of mysterious. Kai, of course. Exactly. Way to go, Sarah. Kai was connected with the baddies. If you didn't know the details of the death game, you might have known something about this facility. But Kai's gone now. So then, the laptop he left behind. Yep. There's still info we haven't checked on that laptop. Guitar got his hands on it once, but he ran out of battery. And now it's back in So's hands. It'll be hard to get back. And that brings us to... You never the place we found it. That room full of rubble. Well, I did a little detecting in there. You got a second, Sarah? What is it? Heiji whispered in my ear. Kai came to that room. What? Now let's move, there's no time. Hold on, Keiji. Kai was in that room. But before we even came to the third floor, Kai was already... I mean, it's Kai. He's that kind of guy. Is that now? Sarah, what's the matter? Oh, I, I just figured I shouldn't be sitting still. I thought I should be thinking about the way for us to escape too. I'll tell you right away if I find anything, Sarah. Strange. Another doppelganger? Huh? Maybe I'll lend you my aid, Sarah. Your aid? You can now use Cage's partner ability. My detective's sight. It should be at least a little useful. Touch icon to activate your partner's ability. Touch Keiji to activate Keiji. That's so- He's always Batman! <laughs> Get the detective vision. I guess you can sense that our heart's beating fast. Um, is something wrong? Nah, it's nothing. Or I'll be going then. What was that sensation? Hmm? Did you just see something too, Sarah? Huh? <laughs> you had the same eyes as me. The eyes of a shrewd detective who never overlooks a heart's unrest. You sense something shady about now. Must be a result of spending days with her. You mean now is hiding something? Don't know. Unfortunately, we don't exactly have time to confirm that right now. Let's do what we have to. There's only ever one option to take. Now. So, the rumor rubble is past the rune corridor. Let's go. Mmm. I feel strength and stall from Rico. You can give her a hug, Sarah. Rico's gazing at the monitors. AIs, huh? There's one here. One of them. She must be Alice. You want to meet him? No. The machine is just a machine. The real him is still in the room of lies. Rico is keeping it all inside. Probably better that I don't see an AI. Because I'm not as strong as now. Alice. I'm terribly sorry. You may not use the prize exchange anymore. I'm cleaning up the prizes, so apologies if it gets dusty. I can't tell anything about Gashu's heart. So I've hardly even talked to him. The time you spent together is important for this. That's just so weird. <laughs> It's like, it's like dark, you ever, you ever seen the anime darker than black? It's a turn on right there. So I, I, I know I can kill face. That's just impatience from Kutaro. Maybe the reason he's not entirely at wit's end is because he's got lots of tokens. Kutaro's sitting silently. Now, what am I gonna do? Feels like he's breathing a little easy. Scare him from behind! Whoa! Whoa! Are you looking for leads on escape, Kutaro? Don't cast me switch over the conversation, you freak me out! I'm looking, but... You're not nothing new. Kai's laptop. 
pretty much all I got. But we don't have to persuade so we can't leave in his room. And Connell's rough him too. Hope we don't use it for nothing evil. I sense pressing emotions from now. There's no time right now, Sarah. Oh, now probably has a sacrifice card. Or Sage, one of the main ones. Now it's turned directly at Alice's body. She doesn't even notice that at all. Sure enough, she's acting strange. Sarah, not right now. I think she's... She, but she's really depressed, so she might be the sacrifice. Or she's nervous because she saw that we're the key master. Keen. Sarah, hide. Huh? Looks like we're not alone. We did say you found a way to escape. I hear rummaging sounds in the pitch dark room. That's Keen. Defer to watch things unfold. What in the world is he doing? This is it, meow. A passage appeared. See, I can... Not good, he's going in alone. Let's stop, Keen. There might be danger, let's stop, Dean. Right, let's go. You prepared? Okie dokie, but promise me one thing. In the off chance of something dangerous waiting up ahead. I think we're gonna go back to the old areas. You'll be able to run away even if it's on your own, won't ya? Yes, and you too, KG. <laughs> Roger that. The passage is lit by dim light and gently slopes downward. The further we advance, the steeper the slope gets. Careful not to slip. Yeah. Gina, how far did you go? Hmm? The dead end. Ah, KG is in this. There's a hole like a trash on the floor. Gina must be through here. Let's drop down. Yep, the kitchen. What room is this? Huh? It seems somehow familiar. I feel like we're gonna bump into Miley, because this is her floor. Well now, I remember coming here. If I remember right. This is the first floor kitchen. The place where now was hiding out only Professor Mishima's head. It's pitch black. Was now sitting in dark like this too. All alone, talking to Mishima's head. Now was despairing. And Guy used that despair. To take the laptop from So. Amazing how she could recover from that. What if we find a So, a dead So body in the one room? We're all getting stronger bit by bit. Yeah, but at the same time. No, forget it. Hold on a second. Did no one notice a secret passage? Maybe Kai? Wonder if Kai knows a secret passage. Yeah, that's a feeling I'm getting. Huh? Every knew it from the start or only noticed while searching, I don't know. But I'm thinking that the fundamental reason the laptop ended up in the room of Rumble. Kai came to the fifth floor and placed the laptop up there. He's right, it's possible. <laughs> that's giving it to me personally. Alright, let's go look for Gina. Activate it. There's small writing under the doorknob. Input the number of kiddos who can't drink. Ah! Huh? I wonder why I'll check the door. It's locked and won't open. This door was always locked. No. Take a close look at the doorknob, I found a dial lock on the side. Tap the dial lock, ask KG. Could you please bust on the door like your brute strength like usual? Eh. <laughs> Don't think that's in my wheelhouse. These arms are for protecting people, see? Sure enough, I should try to solve this. I wonder if there's a hint anywhere. Secret. There's something on the bookshelf. Found victim disc F. Hmm. Huh. 
Ah, <sighs> this is our hand. It's a little sarcastic. Speak of drinking, what's with our bar on the first floor? This is nostalgic. Let's check the game room out real quick, though. Whoa, ho, ho! Speaks in the corner of the painting. Shouldn't look at them. What's up, Sarah? Oh, it's nothing! I'm fine, I... It appears to be a blackboard. There's a list of names. Can drink, Alice, Kai, blah blah blah. Can drink. One, two, three, six, nine? Could these be the names of all the participants in the death game? Ah, oh, now that I think about it. This could be pretty important in info. I want to commit to memory. Yeah, but there are people waiting for him to come back. Right, this isn't just our tragedy. Well, at any rate, we should be able to open the pink room door of this info. Don't know if Gin's here, but want to go check? Hold on, Sarah. There's little holes in the arm. Holes? My pop out poison needles. Then I can't get this wrong. Sure, there's no hint somewhere in this room. You should know what's up before you try. Even though it's open the first time. Let's purposely get it wrong. I guess. Sarah? Oh, I got it wrong. What? Hang in there, Sarah. My senses are getting hazy. Uh, maybe there's an antidote in the medical office. After coming so far, this is what does me in. Don't die! Casey, I'm sorry. Please save everyone. Game over. It stops you from brute forcing it, see? How about nine? Although I feel like nine's a number you probably would guess if you had to pick one. The hell turns a click and the door opens. Looks like that was right. Way to go, Sarah. Now we can enter the pink room. Ooh. A heart shaped vent. Doors open. It's big enough for a person to fit into, hmm? It's pitch black through there. It might lead somewhere else entirely. Which I do. Even though in the dangers, eh? Let's go. I've never seen this room before. I'm pretty sure that's Miley right there. Watch your step. There's some thing there. It's almost like a person. A person. Does this Kiji reach out his hand? Huh, the lights. This is Miley. Can't you get away? No. Not alive, is it? Huh? What does he mean? It's just a powerless doll, not moving an inch. Uh oh! The Miley doll was knocked out, and the Miley we dealt with bled, so that means it's a switch out. You mean. She's not the real one. Wait a second. She called herself the laughing doll, Sue Miley, but she must be human. Why'd you figure that? Think back on what's happened so far. Dolls don't bleed. The doll ranger proved this fact with his own body. And... When Milo was struck by Kai, she was bleeding. That's why. I figured Milo was probably human. Oh, <laughs> great memory, Sarah. You're exactly right. This doll is probably the Milo we first met. First! After eleven of us came together. Our first mission was to search for the scared parts of Miley's body, wasn't it? What if the Miley we met was just so... Not that so, but never so. 
Come to think of it, we searched for the parts and assembled her. After a white gas filled the room, Miley suddenly started to move. A white gas. That's right, the room that filled with gas was connected to this room by the ventilation. That's when the human Miley swapped herself in. So that was it. All starting to line up, isn't it? But this room still hides some interesting grooves. Let's keep searching. I wonder if Miley's still on the floor somewhere. Machine parts are scattered about. Huh. I feel like these are similar materials to our collars. Or a computer desk in the drawer. What are these? I'm not really sure. Hmm? This one has a label on it. First floor security camera footage. Security camera! Well now, you might have been getting filmed. You don't mean the whole time. It's not so strange. There's too many of us for the just of floor masters to watch over. We can think of a maze so, but... With someone here watching. I wonder if there was an observer in this room. Don't see many traces of there being multiple people here. We could probably view the footage on that computer. Should we watch it? Looks like a refrigerator. It won't open. Miley doll is sitting down. Glowing computer screen. What? There's some video playing. Help! Help me, please! It's... I didn't know! I didn't know anything! You're listening there, aren't you? Help me! What's going on over there? Can you hear us? Hey, say something back! I won't tell anyone, I promise! This is fair video recording. Why? Why is this all necessary? Everyone else got, like, actual trap traps, and we've got, like, puzzle stuff. I've always decided, she... She... I've got no qualms, I just want to live in peace. Oh, Don't tell me. We were all gathered for her sake. Sarah Chidowin. What? Damn you, I'll kill you. All your organization members and Sarah Chidowin. I'll curse your name from hell. Don't look, Sarah. So you so know something about us. No. We're the heir to some super... We're, we're, we're the heir to the shocker. We're gonna be the next great leader. This is probably footage of the person who died in the first trial. Oh my. I have no idea what's going on. I have no idea what's going on. This, this video. But you said your name. I don't know why. Sarah. You might just have an intimate connection with this death game. No way. But I really... It's no use. The more I say, the more suspicious I look. Just... What am I? Please believe me, KG. How amusing. Um... Are you going to be our goddess of victory? Or angel of death? Doesn't sound too bad to bet my life on that. Your life? Hmm. That's been my plan for a while now. Can I trust my life to you, Sarah? I understand. I'll take your life in my hands, Kenji. Now there's a partner I know. What if... What if I'm an angel of death? Let's see now. Would you die along with me? I don't intend to die. <laughs> That's a good answer. Okay, let's search around a little more. Right. Trust. I've I've always been a bit suspicious of him. KG never wants to talk about himself. Ex detective. There must be a past he can't talk about, a truth he can't say. Even so, KG bet on me. Can I bet on KG? I This is we all first met up. Sure enough, we were being observed. Huh. Zuda doesn't have sound. Ah. Joe. Sarah. 
I'm just saying, I I, I wonder if Joe's related to the scientist guy, because they both have things in their pockets. And they both got brown hair. Um, okay, what is it? This video is pretty long. We should probably skip to the important parts. You're right. Are you prepared? Huh? You could see things you don't like. The have signs of your allies. That's true. What if some distressful act got recorded? KG is still suspecting that it might be a traitor. I'm prepared. Okie dokie. Let's watch the rest, shall we? KG begin pl to play the rest of the video. Her actions up to this point played back. According from when we were still alive. We skip through checking for anything suspect. And... Sarah. It's okay, keep going. You sure are strong. Hmm? What? The Central Hall? Kutaro. Someone... placed a card. It's one of the roll cards used in the first main game. Who... who just placed it? Kutaro! And now someone picked it up. Looks like a JoJo character walking away. So... Ew, and that's on unexpected footage. Alright, Kutaro's death flagged. I've been seeing it coming for a while. I think Kutaro was the one who set the roll cards in place. Hold on a second. Think back in earlier. We had discussions like this before, remember? The one who set the cards should have been so. So execute a strategy in the bar so you can use Kana. He placed a sacrifice card he had. Hey, Kana, pick it up. And trade her a common card to put her in his debt. I mean, he just saw the cards and just manipulated it. And so Joe pick up the sacrifice card. All of it was a trap laid by So, I thought. But what we can see in this video, it's Guitar who placed the cards first. So just saw him and adopted it. That's all. No way. Well, there's not much video left. While trying to sort my head on, I pushed play. Sure enough, Guitar was shown again and again, secretly placing cards. And so picked up a few of those cards. Indeed, made a trade of Kana. It was all true. Some mystery solved, others added. Keeping my hazy feelings in check, I let the remaining bit of video play. Huh? Are Joe and Kai talking about something? Did they make a pact? To protect Sarah Chidoan? To change the man's faces? This what were those two talking one-on-one -on -one about? Well, Kai would have probably told Joe, like, oh yeah, she's the keymaster, by the way. Joe never told me anything like this. If we could just hear their voices. Hmm, that's everything I've noted in the footage. Should take up some time. We should leave here soon. You hold on to this disc, Sarah. Okay. We made some findings. Now we switch again and work toward escape. Disc E? What is this, some kind of, like... Some kind of Yankee? Damn it, this is awful. What did this happen to me? Is there someone there? There is right answer me. Am I gonna die? Oh, this sucks ass, seriously. Shit, my life was pretty boring, I didn't care about the future. But now... And it's strange, it doesn't hurt at all. If I'm bleeding this much from my gut, why doesn't it hurt? It doesn't feel like I'm really dying. Hey. Am I still alive? Hey. As if... It's as if he fell asleep at the end. He was probably a high schooler. A human about the same age as me. Maybe he was one of the happy ones. What am I saying? I just felt a tinge of envy, that's all. People killing each other, allies dying. Being able to die without having experienced those things is happy. I'm thinking idiotic things. For your sake, too, I. Help! What is you wearing? No, no, no! Why? Why does that have to happen? 
How can I possibly know which one's right? <laughs> Semi-automatic Russian roulette. He says, this boy is just Russian. I can't do, I can't fire these things. <laughs> Ow! What the cost hiding? Stop it, I can't breathe. I'll fire, so stop it. Oh. Oh. Oof. The video ends here. Ugh. It's just from the first trial, too. It's just too cruel. How could you think up such a thing? I find you entirely well. If anything, she got out pretty easy compared to some of the rubber deaths. Their enemies were practically demons. Even so, being shown this. Can we escape? From demons who make us do things like this. We'll escape them, all right. Her dying regrets, all. Meow. That was... Gina. Where are you, Gina? Where are you, Gina? Why, you're putting us in your two, you know. What should we do? I don't hear his voice anymore. The situation's changed. Making safety-wise. We should probably head back for now. No. He wants to abandon King. I refuse to give up. You're right. Now let's look around, Sarah. You're like a little... Little traumatic P Mr. Policeman flashback for a brief moment there. No more losing anybody. Right. There's something on the table. A key. This wasn't here before, was it? Maybe I shouldn't go touching it. Not good. Someone's coming from the central hall. Huh? Let's hide. Let's go back to the kitchen and hide. Don't be dokey. They're close. Keep quiet. I don't know who you are, but don't notice us. The footsteps stop near the door. I see two. Miley. One of them is Miley. I can hear them talking quietly. To let them escape. I apologize. The key that was here is... Gone. Ah! I seriously, I give it up. This key's safe. Who could the other person be? Listen, don't let Gashu have his way. He's trying to destroy the death game. What? I understand. The monitor room should have a surveillance mode, correct? Connect the blue wire and keep a careful eye on Gashu. Why do you know about that? And one more thing. You must retrieve the chip in Ranger's head. That chip can destroy this place's security. It's a menace. Destroy the security. Please be quiet. What if someone heard you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> then things would get quite fun, I suppose. Oh, and... The tablet! This is not the time! Who's there? We have to run! Ooh, the mystery keeps getting deeper. This keeps going deeper. Phew, that was a close call. Begin is still! I didn't like those two hatch captured them at least. Let's think about what we can do. What can we do? Summarize that conversation or check our rules? Our priority should be check our rules. That annoying noise earlier really signal will trade. Alright. Someone's cards must have gotten traded. We just have to look. I'm still a keymaster. And I'm still a commoner. So it's between people other than us. Glad I didn't have any extra complications. Okay, now about that conversation we overheard. Those two mentioned some very interesting things. Yep. Something about Chip and Ranger's head. Close the surveillance mode in the monitor room. I don't know what sort of functionality it has. But if we could watch security cameras on all the floors. Sounds a little better than sneaking back into the first floor and getting caught. Let's go. The game is afoot.
What should I do? It burns at random. Just leave this to me. Okie dokie. I'm going to press things at random. <laughs> My hands move on intuition and instinct. As if I knew the answer from the very beginning. I lower the computer. Be an unpleasant error noise and froze. Completely wrong. That usually works for me. Sarah, don't turn silly turn de desperation on me. Look by your feet. See those wires? It's a blue one, yeah. Let's try connecting it. KG connected a blue wire on the floor to the computer. Oh boy, here we go. Bingo. This is a surveillance system. Is it getting on any of these? Left on shows Rinko sitting in her bedroom. She must be exhausted. Top left on shows some broken bongos in an empty bedroom. Those are the bongos Alice bought from the price exchange. They look slightly repaired from when Rinko broke them. Alice must have tried to fix them. As if hoping to repair their relationship. But Reiko can't apologize any longer. It's a matter right now, I can't get stuck on it. Nothing known in the bomb left monitor. The center monitor shows an empty bedroom. Huh. Something's odd about this bedroom. Is it mine? Huh? What's going on? It's Professor Mishima AI. I made it back. Now? Is this really for the best? Indeed. Well done, Miss Now. I'm glad your safety was insured. But, but he'll... Professor, what should I do? That's not the professor. Believe in me, Miss Now. For I was miraculously revived so I could protect you. You just as I say, yes? Smiley. Right. Now put in a smile. I'd like to see you cheery, Miss Now. Yes. Fantastic. What a good student I have, indeed. What's going on? This isn't good. Keiji. What's with that Mishima? Just what is that Professor Mishima? He said he revived, but... It was always just an AI that Reiko destroyed here. It's a tricky subject, huh? AIs are entities of pure data, so... If anything's up to it... Maybe they're free to revive him and copy him as they like. What's that even mean in that case? No way. The scarier thing is... I mean, I'll be able to remake their personalities however it suits them. Don't you think? <laughs> Only now's room having a monitor in it is pretty suspect, too. Maybe the floor master is plotting something. No way. The only one left is Saffalin, right? No. Shows a room of lies. Alice's body and real Ranger's remains are still there. Alice. Someone's standing in front of a bedroom. That's Kutaro. You're talking to the owner of the room. There's nothing unknown in the top right monitor. We checked all the monitors, but Ginyu was nowhere to be found. The surveillance system is only for floor 3. Sure enough, Gin's still on floor 1. Uh oh, somebody's coming. Huh? It's Gashu. I'll show off the security systems. Phew. Oh dear. Just what are you two up to? Hmm, sure are nosy. We're having a quiet moment here. Oh my. Pardon me, then. While you're here, though, tell me something. Are there AIs in all these bonners? You are precisely right. Here are the simple day eyes of all candidates who cleared the first trial. Hmm. Gotcha, you can go. We're gonna... Take the next step. Yes, I shall leave you to it. Now, what to do? We should recover Ranger's chip. I know, we should collect Ranger's chip while we still can. You okay and I going after Gin? Of course I'm worried about Gin isn't just a child anymore. I'm sure he'll escape and return to us. When he does, we should have an escape plan worked out to surprise him with. Maybe that's what believing is. Let's go to the room of lies. It is certainly within your options to spend some time together, you two. Ooh. Yo, you two, what's the hurry? On a date. Best, get away from Sarah. This isn't the time for jokes. Up. Uh, 
Where are you two headed? Uh, I just felt like telling some lies. So, the room of lies. Ha <laughs> I liked it. I liked it. Ah, oh, you can't. Right now, it's... You're not allowed in. Hold on, Saflin. Can you just decide that? But, but you see... We can't leave the bodies here any longer. We need to hold a memorial service. No know much about it. Let's leave it for later, Sarah. Understood. Ah, oh, Miss Sarah. Hmm, you came back at a good time. So... Don't give me that displeased look. I just want to talk for a bit. About what? Ah, wow, you're actually listening to me. Please be serious. That's right, there ain't no time, so... Thank you very much, Sarah. Oh, okay. It's a triple trader team up in here. Oh, triple trader team's coming up in my grill. What, what great proposal do you all have for me? Kutaro, Kana. Have the three of them been working together? This is important we listen. Thanks, Miss Sarah. You want my key master card? So on a business. Um, I want to reconcile. Reconcile. I don't understand. What do you mean by that? I don't understand. Huh, we've quarreled a bunch, haven't we? But I realize, you know, it can't go on like this. I mean, a real enemy is the kidnappers, right? That's true. But I know you're a bold-faced liar. So go jump out a window. There's one right there. I want to put an end to this ridiculous death game. I want us to escape. And of course, I mean all of us. What a moving speech. I'm serious, KG. So how about we all share this laptop? It's my bad for taking it from you, but... In the end, I couldn't see what was on it, because the password had been changed. So that's how it is. That explains why you suddenly feel like joining up with us, you know the password. Huh. You know the password. Ah! Enough of the bargaining, there isn't time. We have the password, so as a laptop. Reconciling means we share. I really do just want to reconcile, though. Well, whatever. Okay, it's proof of our rebuilt friendship. Let's shake hands, Miss Sarah. I'll trust that smile! What could he possibly gain from shaking hands? Can he see something? Hmm. It's a trap. But I'm going right ahead. Okay. Evil! What was that? Here, Kana. Let me go with Miss Sarah, too. Kana. Come on, give me your hand. I gently grabbed Kana's little hand. Kana! Betrayed you again and again. Stop it, Kana. We're friends. Sarah? And me? Here you go. Uh, you... Uh, well, thanks. Yo, Sarah, Kana, I've been watching you guys. Rico! I don't know what happened, but there's no way feelings in great. Yes. Um, Rico will look at it with us? At Kai's laptop? Huh? Can I? Of course. This is a trap. Okay, then I'm turning it on. Whoa, it's open. Are there any clues we can use to escape in here? I found name Sarah's Taste. Can you believe it? Kai, you can believe it. The Kai make this follow himself. So, so I'm not the only one making name puns. Okay. Sweets edition. Strawberry jam, jam in general, mashed sweet potatoes, chestnuts, kosher and toast. He's right on the money. A little bit paste on. Mr. Eats well of a balanced diet, she especially likes sweet things. Maybe you understand her just one bit more. Goes on and on like this. So, uh, guy was Kara Stalker. Sarah Stalker. Now that I think about it, there always was something paste like at a dinner table. Backdoor smut? Hey, quit with that. I'm not exactly excited myself, but... Well, it's not an image file, right? Huh? I nervously opened the file. Instead, it was a long string of text and symbols I couldn't make any sense of. 
and they had the tales of it. I don't believe Kai was into this. This is what you call some kind of programming thing. We can't decipher this sort of thing. Miss Sarah. Hello, Miss Sarah. I am Kai. I'm truly sorry you had to get involved in such an incident as this. This would render the death game. Miss Sarah, if you are reading this, there's something I want to tell you. I, Kai Sato, was an agent, belonging to a certain vile organization. In addition, I was raised as an assassin. An assassin? However, I could not carry out an assassination order as I was pursued in my youth. I could not kill another human being. My father was disappointed in me, and my standing organization was low. Then one day I was appointed to a certain task. It was to guard and care for you from the shadows. I say this, but it was not a task I held in high regard at first. Not until the plans of the death game were beginning to approach reality. I myself do not know the death game's objective. However, while this is merely my impression, Miss Sarah, it is possible that this is all revolving around you. Of course, I do also believe that you are merely a victim, Miss Sarah. Still, the organization needs you, and they will take any means necessary. The organization's name is Asunaru. It is a secret organization possessing superb technology in a multitude of fields. Asunaru! You stalled me, what's the matter? That's the same name as the orphans are from. Told you. Settle down, let's keep reading. This death game is not for the pleasure nor revenge. To an organization, it is an edible mission. This is what my father believed. His father. The organization drove my father mad. There may come a time when you must confront him. That time, please defeat my father, Gashu. Ooh! You have the same hair color. Whatever. I've collected all the data I've researched in the Sarah folder. If I'm already dead, please make use of it. The password is your mother's name. I hope it can be of some use. I pray you would not be swallowed up by the whirlpool of deception and slaughter. Please survive, even if it must be you alone. Mr. Tenthir. Kai. We're all working together now. Hey, so. Don't you think this clears Sarah's suspicion? Huh? What you want on about saying that? Seeing Sarah, Kai, and Joe were the masterminds working together. Well, that was just a little tit for tat. I wasn't exactly calm at the time. Sorry, Miss Sarah. I'm glad we can reconcile. Don't trust him! Join the death game. Ordered 59. Kai, the death game project is finally taking on tinges of reality. At last, your time has come to be useful for organization. Guard Sarah Chino until a planned day and ensure she remains healthy. As much as possible, keep an eye out for her close friends Joe Tazna and Ryoko Hirose. We can't add anyone else on this third fill your duty, Kai. We Joe, my best friend Ryoko mentioned in here. The file contains investigative reports on photos of Joe and Ryoko. Don't tell me, was it planned for Ryoko to get involved too? Order 8. Kai, good work on guarding the Chidwin family. It seems the Chidwins have been looking for a since I've late. It's good timing. Kai, get them to employ and slip into their midst. The organization has prepared the necessary documents, they're all kept in this file. It's a forged resume. I guess only a photo of a real Kai. That seems to be pretty old. I knew we had an assistant when I was a kid. It was only while I was at school, so I never saw them around. It was Kai. We leave there in my house. Locked up password. The password is... My mother's name. I slowly typed in my mother's name. It opened. Personal thanks. Hello, this is Kai. Apologies, but this message has absolutely nothing to do with the death game. Miss Sarah, I wish to express my personal gratitude as Kai Sato. I owe a great deal to the Chedwin family. Your father hired me as an assistant to help out with his job and housework. Of course, this was also a job for the organization to keep watch of you. At first, I felt disgusted with your father, who treated me as a sort of family. I was trained as an agent from a young age. I never experienced anything such as affection. I was afraid. Afraid that I might be changing. But over time, I came to want to protect your family. I wish to see you grow to maturity with my own eyes. 
For the first time, I had a reason to live. I'm truly glad I could meet the Chudoans. Thank you very much, Miss Sarah. Kai. Hello, this is Kai. I was able to use an old ID to successfully access a very small section of the organization's database. There I discovered data pertaining to participants in the death game. Unfortunately, data most of the participants was protected in such a way I could not extract it. I see green hair! But there was one man in particular for which that protection was removed. It appears as his files at one time deleted. But for some reason or another, it was restored. Who could this be? This guy's... What's the matter? What? Everyone's acting strange. Look at the green hair. Who do you think it is? Do they all... Know this person? Uh, sorry, I... I gotta use the toilet. I do not even know his name. However, there's only one reason the organization would delete a file on someone. Namely, death. If he passed away before the death game and his file was then restored. Perhaps that means he was revived. What? Revived? I know. I know I've seen this guy somewhere or another. But why can't I remember? You neither. I kinda think so too. But you can't remember anything. Does anybody know this guy's name? So that's who it is. He's wearing the same scarf as so. I could not solve the riddle concerning him. And there was one more curious aspect. There should have been 20 participants in the death game. But there were not enough files for everyone. My supposition is that... Dang you! Cliffhangers! What, that sound? There's must been a trade. Uh, but there's no time for that. Someone who was in prison initiated a trade. The laptop. Guys, even the laptop is more important than our cards right now. I mean, we cannot look, right? Control never started up their tablets. You fine, fine. We just have to check our cards first, then. Did I lose my key, Master? Let's move the tablet. Okay, I'm the key, Master. Now back to the laptop. Huh? Oh! Huh? Sacrifice. The third trade has just been performed. There's no mistaking it. Someone traded cards with me. And of all things, they pushed on me the sacrifice. Inconceivable. Now? I mean, I... I'm fighting for everyone's... Uh... I'm suffocating. Uh, I can't breathe right. What's the matter, Sarah? How's it feel I have my card? Calm down right now, the laptop. No worries. It's like that card means you definitely die, though. No. The laptop. But she did kill me. Sarah. Calm down. If you'll touch my shoulder. Oh god, KG's gonna take the sacrifice card. It's warm. But. Hallucination won't go away. I need. I need to trade cards. But bye. I don't have 50 tokens. What should I do? I can't borrow from anyone. I have to think, I have to think. That's right, the rumor lies. If I take Alex's tokens. My body moves on its own. I care about anyone watching, I start running. <sighs> no! Alex's body has been completely cleaned up. You're kidding! Why, no. Now I'm gonna... Should've never spent those tokens. What do I do? Miss Sarah. Savlin. I just finished cleaning. Of course, I also carefully transported the bodies. This might be my last chance. Trick Savlin. Are my tokens around here somewhere? Huh? Did you lose your wallet? I haven't seen it anywhere. Oh, I don't mean that. I trusted my tokens to Alice. All of them temporarily for a certain plan. I plan to take them back, assuming survival. We didn't hear anything about the dead tokens being forfeit. So, could you give them back? Miss Sarah, um... Alice didn't have any tokens. Huh? Sorry. I'm busy, so if you excuse me... What's going on? Alice didn't have any tokens. That's impossible. Alice was one of the high places for tokens. Ah, uh, does someone do this to trap me? 
Uh, uh, why am I laughing? <laughs> hey there. Having fun, Sarah? Yeah. I can't muster energy to think about anything anymore. In the end, I guess you weren't seriously thinking you could escape either, huh? It's that so. Just a hunch I got. You find hope for someone else because those without hope die. Is that how you thought? You're right. You're wrong. That's wrong, Joe. I was wondering you'd hope. As long as I'm looking forward, I can look away from the reality of killing you. But the future waiting once I return, I can only imagine it's pitch black. What the hell, Sarah? You want to die that bad? Maybe so. Somewhere in my heart, I... <sighs> Joe. Finally, I won't have to run for you anymore. Because Sarah, stay with us, Mal! Pain. Big Pro Joe isn't here anymore, Mal. Don't give me attention to anything weird, Wolf. Why are you here again? Why am I here? So I can cheer Big Sitter up, obviously. Again. Please come back to your senses. Believe in the real Joe. Please, Big Sarah. Believe in Joe. You're the only one who can do anything now. You know, all of us. We regret it, Wolf. We've suffered, Meow. And yet, Big Big Joe put on a spell at the end, Meow. And everybody else who died. They're thinking that once we'll be left till the very end, Wolf. So I'm sure what really wants is for everyone to get home alive. That's why. You have to believe in the real Joe, Big Sister Sarah. The real Joe. Oh no. I feel like I've lost sight of him already. The guy who's always by my side. Do I have the courage to face him in on? Sarah! You aren't Joe. I need to push aside the evil clutches reaching for me. Why would finally let him get me? It's literally evil clutches. Oh my god. Whoa! No way you can forget me, Sarah. You're already broken. Stay with us, Big Sister Sarah! Big Sister Sarah! Game over. You can't clutch me. Damn, you have a lot of hands. Hands off. Yeah. <sighs> You're already broken. It's impossible to get rid of me for good. Again, that is. Mrs. Sarah? Again. Thank you. I forgot something important. You're back to Noble Wolf? Yeah, let's all return alive together. I won't let anyone else's lives be lost. I won't let the kidnappers have their way, Sarah said as she pointed to me, the player. Yeah. I'm bring of energy. It's more than just my life. Protect everyone, I'll move forward. Because Sarah, let's go, Wolf. What? Bark. The, the Gin Bark skill. Gin senses.